Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. Today, we're going to take a look at my vintage Star Wars book collection. Let's start off with the 1976 Star Wars. Here, I have the novelization of the movie. The middle of this paperback has color movie stills with descriptions of the characters. I also have the Marvel Comics illustrated version of Star Wars. This one is missing the cover. This book is in fact a small black and white reproduction of the Star Wars comic books. I have issues 1 through 5, as well as some other random issues that have storylines with characters like Crimson Jack. And of course, no Star Wars book collection is complete without the classic Star Wars storybook. It's full of iconic images from the movie. Moving on, here's the novelization of The Empire Strikes Back. There's a few blank pages in the back, I presume so you could add in your own happy ending. And here we have The Empire Strikes Back storybook. It's very similar to the one that I showed previously. Around 1982, I was in a department store and saw a book that I really wanted, the Jedi Master's Quiz Book. I had to wait until I saw it cheap at a local garage sale before my mom would get it for me. Amazingly, it was written by an 11-year-old. Question 344. What was the name of the farming community where Luke visited his friends Deke, Windy, and Biggs? Why, Anchorhead, of course. From before Return of the Jedi was released, I have this issue of Marvel's Epic Illustrated. It has a preview of Revenge of the Jedi. This was at least six months before the movie was released. They hadn't changed the title yet. Next up, the Return of the Jedi Collector's Edition booklet. It's all about the filming and pre- and post-production of the film, and it's full of large photographs. Here's the novelization of the film. The center of this book is photos of all the characters. I also have the paperback of the making of Return of the Jedi. It's almost 300 pages and it's a very in-depth book. It includes lots of behind-the-scenes photos. One of the specific things I asked for in Christmas 1983 was Marvel's Return of the Jedi comic book. I was pretty excited, as you can hear in this over 30-year-old recording of me opening the gift. I want to get my Jedi comic book now! Yay! I can't wait to read about Jabba's adventures. Well, that brings us to the Return of the Jedi activity books. The six books were put out by a company called Happy House and retailed for 99 cents. After begging my mom, she agreed to get me one. So I chose the Monster Activity Book. It seemed more interesting than the Dot to Dots, Mazes, and Puzzle books. We've got a salacious crumb jigsaw puzzle. Bib Fortuna's hand. And a recipe for Monster Munchies, which I believe I did make. Six pages of the book are taken up by the pins for a Gamorrean Guard bowling game. I never cut these out. <laughs> and of course, we have the Toothface puppet. Hey, Toothface, how come you're not in any of the other books? Shut up! Let's look inside the Things to Do and Make book. It has a Darth Vader dime bank that you make using a salt container. And an Ewok hang glider. I realized after looking at this book that I had picked it up used. I don't have the Luke's card game. The former owner cut it out and kept it. My favorite thing about this book, though, is how the former owner spelled Vader wrong in two different ways. Darth Vader and Vader. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Star Wars books. If you did, don't forget to click the like button down below. See you soon. Thanks, YouTube.